At 2.12 a.m. local time, a Russian convoy rolls through fog. Jammer trucks, radar arrays, and mobile artillery. Then, a buzz. Not missiles, not jets. Just a $400 drone diving in like a kamikaze hornet. One question, how did garage-built FPV rigs destroy one of Russia's most fortified military districts? Spoiler, the central military district wasn't breached, it was dismantled. In the next nine minutes, you'll discover how Ukraine's cheap drones bypass jamming fields and radar, how garage-built FPV rigs outmaneuver four Nebulalorsters air defense systems, how a swarm of suicidal drones shredded an entire Russian command grid. This isn't coverage, it's a playbook for next-gen warfare. Did you know? In just 14 days, over 1,800 Russian military assets were wiped out by drones built for less than a car battery. $400 kills. $4 million losses. This isn't news footage. This is real-time disruption, and it's unlike anything on YouTube or TV. Here's how it happened, and why militaries everywhere are panicking. Subscribe for cinematic warfare breakdowns you won't find in traditional news, only here. This isn't TV. This isn't recycled news. This is battlefield evolution, decoded. Night, Kursk Oblast. A low fog clings to a pine forest as a convoy rolls through the mist. Armored personnel carriers, fuel trucks, a radar jammer mounted on a six-wheeled Ural. Above them, silence, then a pop. Not a roar, not a missile scream. Just the distant, insect-like buzz of propellers. The sky lights up in a grid of tiny red tracers. Too late. 30 feet off the ground, a $400 FPV drone dives like a wasp on speed. The screen goes static. Explosion. Then another. And another. In two weeks, this invisible swarm has decimated an entire Russian military district. This isn't just disruption. This is collapse. Cheap, directed collapse. In the age of swarm warfare, Code is deadlier than cost. Quick question for you watching this. If $400 drones can do this to one of Russia's strongest military districts, what happens when 10,000 launch at once? Let us know in the comments. What country are you watching from? What Ukraine's drone struck wasn't just equipment. It was the skeletal nervous system of Russian battlefield dominance. In just 14 days, 16 tanks, 21 APCs, 75 artillery systems, 22 air defense platforms, 17 electronic warfare nodes, 577 transport vehicles, 80 enemy drones, 308 antenna arrays, 789 fortified positions, 15 ammo depots, 7 fuel storage centers. Each hit wasn't random. It was surgical. The 22 SAM systems weren't just air defense. They were regional shields. The jammers were the firewall against NATO recon. The depots? The beating heart of mobile battalion supply. By cutting these, Ukraine didn't just strike targets. They carved a corridor into Russia's internal defense grid. Russia's central military district, A, spans thousands of square miles. Vast forests, railheads, and underground bunkers. But the real problem wasn't the terrain. It was the jamming field. From Voronezh to Bryansk, Overlapping electronic warfare bubbles, blind GPS, scramble guidance, and spoof drone feeds with decoys. That's why most Western smart weapons wouldn't survive here. Then there's legality. NATO can't launch inside Russian territory. But Ukraine's defense? It's asymmetric. No need for satellites. No need for billion-dollar cruise missiles. Just a first-person view rig, a high-gain antenna, and a kid with drone racing reflexes. Ukraine's FPV drone fleet isn't one model. It's a doctrine. Each rig is custom built in garages, FPV racer base frames, lithium polymer batteries for burst acceleration, grenade payload, or shaped charge tip, guided by real time goggles. But the real innovation mesh targeting. Soldiers use Starlink uplinks to build distributed target maps. Every drone operator gets a piece of that puzzle. Using terrain-hugging routes, they bypass radar, flying nap of the earth like cruise missiles. When a jammer's near, they cut GPS, switching to dead reckoning or optical line of sight. Most fly under 30 feet, 
too low for S300s, too agile for Pantsers. In effect, they're algorithmic wasps, suicidal, swarm-based, and precision-guided by real-time eyes on target. And Ukraine is making thousands every month. We're about to show you how a 17-drone swarm launched from a farmhouse shredded a fuel convoy in under two minutes. But first, do you believe smart warfare is now more important than firepower? Type adaptation wins if you agree. Dawn, Belgorod Sector. Four convoys loaded with Irrigan MLRS munitions are parked under camo netting. At 5.12 a.m., 17 FPV drones launch from an abandoned farmhouse 14 kilometers away. Each drone carries a 3D printed shaped charge, enough to pierce 40 millimeters of armor. Altitude, 12 feet. Speed, 72, on a fierce H. They skim tree lines, whip around hills, and avoid RF detection zones. Two jammers kick in, but the drones switch to manual LOS and dive. Payloads hit, a command APC. Two ammo trucks, a relay antenna, the fuel ignites. Secondary explosions trigger a sympathetic detonation in a nearby grad battery. Result? 60 tons of ammo gone in eight seconds. In just 14 days, this strike pattern repeats over 70 times. A single $400 drone wipes out systems worth millions. T-72s, Tor, M2s, 9K33, Osabuck launchers, R330 EW trucks. And more important, these aren't static kills. These are moving convoys, reloading sites, repositioning radars. Russia isn't losing old stock. They're bleeding active assets. And Ukraine? They're spending less per kill than the cost of a tank tread. This isn't a drone campaign. This is a doctrine shift. Drone first assault. FPV saturation. Asymmetric swarm logic. Russia's counter, still kinetic, still slow. This shows what happens when the doctrine doesn't evolve, but the enemy does. If a $400 drone can disable a $400 asset, war math is broken. Permanently, and NATO, they're watching, learning, because the future of battlefield supremacy isn't bigger bombs, it's smarter bugs. If this is what $400 can do to a military district, imagine what 10,000 of these can do to an empire. This isn't just cost-effective warfare, it's a revolution in combat logic. In the age of AI and FPV swarms, wars aren't won by who spends more, but by who learns faster. Like, comment, and subscribe if you believe modern dominance is earned through strategy, not spending. Because supremacy today isn't firepower, it's adaptation. It's precision. It's intelligence.